ARP's sex and relationship expert, Dr. Pepper Schwartz, is with us. She's in the Twin Cities today for a film and discussion series in Minnesota. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. Oh, it's my pleasure. So uh, I, we were just talking uh, a little earlier about how fascinating of a topic this is because it's easy for younger people to snicker, right? And some people don't like to think about their parents having sex. But people should, when you're 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. <laughs> it doesn't stop. You don't stop living. No, no. In fact, I, I think it, it's awfully odd and very sad that one doesn't want for one's parents what would want for oneself, which sure. is to stay alive and be everything you've been. I'll be talking about communication primarily today in Bloomington at the Pacific Arts Center there. But my mission as an uh, ambassador for ARP is to have people love being in love, love being sexual, love looking at their potential, never thinking that there's an age that it ends because so much of it's in one's head. Maybe you can't imagine it at your age, but believe me, yeah. once, however old you are, you don't feel like you ever want to give up on your essence and all of this stuff, our sexuality, our ability to fall in love, sure. our ability to communicate at a deeper level, that should never go away. So how do you do that? Is it, is it just communication or is that, the, is that the biggest thing that you have to lean on? Well, communication is the best thing you own for discovering yourself and discovering someone else. I mean, in an intimate relationship, you want to share and you want it to be organic. It should grow. It should never stagnate. You should never feel mm. like you've said everything you could say to one another. Mm. We all get into bad habits. I'm going to talk about the bad habits. The and things how to that annoy deeper. others. And obviously, sex is one of those things that we often, even with people who've been together a very long time, they don't know how to talk about sure. changing it. There's a quote I love by Lillian Hellman. It says, people change and forget to tell each other. Mm -hmm. So I think sure. we don't want to forget sure. to tell each other how we're changing, what we need, what's important to us, and we need tools, we need skills. I think we should always be on, a, on an upward uh, trajectory of learning, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of things I try to bring into the mix, things I lecture about, whether it's about sex or intimacy, or just about what we want to get out of life as we change and grow. Is it hard? I, I feel like as boomers age, having conversations about this topic uh, is difficult because parents don't want to talk about it with their kids. And even though their kids are 40 or 45 or 50 or 60 themselves, like there's this awkward kind of, oh, it's my parents, I don't want to think about it. But that communication issue goes both ways, right? You bet. But you know what I would say to my children who have heard everything I can course, yeah. say and they have told me everything <laughs> I either want to know yeah. or don't want to know, but I would just say get over it. Yeah. You know, give me my full humanity just like I give you yours. Mm. And maybe you have a grandmother, don't put her in some case, you know, with little flowers over it, you know. <laughs> Let her be a human being and, and help her understand herself as a continuing human being. I also yeah. talk a lot about dating in older ages because you never lose your capacity, not just for love, but for passion. Right. It's We're important. capable of that. It, it keeps us all young at heart and keeps us alive. It's important. Oh, for sure. I have a whole lecture on sex and health. It's not like in some little black, black box we put on a table. It's part of our whole system. It's what keeps us not just human, but intelligent and feeling well, and young. People can see you in Bloomington today at what time? Uh, the 5 o'clock registration, 6 o'clock my lecture, and then there's a great movie called Enough Said about a love story and about communication. Wonderful. Dr. Schwartz, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it.